Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name's Luke, and today I'm going to be talking about uh, getting ready for the RPQs that are coming up. The, those are the Rally Point Qualifiers. Uh, I have one this Sunday. It'll be the first one um, that I'll be attending, as well as I think it'll be one of the first um, to actually happen for the next season. Uh, so I just wanted to talk about how I prepped for it. And uh, maybe what you can do to, you know, get yourself prepared. So, uh, first thing, and the most important thing, is knowing your list. So, this, obviously, first step is going to be um, actually choosing and deciding what list you're going to bring. Um, you can kind of look at uh, the top list from a couple past events and kind of take things from theirs um I, I wouldn't recommend just copying someone's i mean you can obviously it works but i would i would tailor it towards you know your specific play style if you like having the extra trooper in there that's been shown to work um or if you like having you know med bots or whatever you know ta tailor it to your specific play style but Get a feel for what's already been shown to work. Um, next thing, once you have a list, I would recommend practicing with it for sure. Uh, I wouldn't just go to a tournament or specifically the Rally Point tournaments without having played uh, the list. And if you don't have time to play the list uh, per se, just kind of... Well, I would recommend playing the list, but uh, if, if you can't get the time, then kind of go with something that you've played before. Um, I wouldn't recommend going with something that's like brand new that you've never, you never tried out before. Um, the next thing is once you know you've been practicing for a little bit, um, try and understand what the strengths and weaknesses are of your list um, so that involves like the scenarios that it's weak for and maybe like what kind of tables you like to see whether it be you know more line of sight blocking or less um, it's usually a good idea to have a list that's kind of like an all comers as as far as uh, tables go because you're not certain on what type of tables you're gonna see but um, just know what kind of tables you like. That way, you know, if you face a table that maybe is wide open and you're more of a hide behind line of sight kind of list, then, you know, you can play differently than you would. Or at least know that you might be kind of uh, uh, at a disadvantage starting off so you can appropriately, you know, react as best you can. Um... Then I'd say, you know, know what a good matchup is for your list and what is a bad matchup. So, for instance, a lot of, like, trooper spam lists, um, they don't want to see, like, palp usually gives them problems because when the palp bomb goes off, he can just delete four or five units if they're all troopers just clumped, um... Or, if you don't have a lot of impact, maybe Flamer Arties will give you a problem. Um, just know what is going to be a bad matchup for you. Just, just so you know beforehand. And that way when you see it, you're not kind of like, oh my god, I don't know what to do against this list. You, can ar you already know that it's a bad matchup, but then you can at least, you know, try to adapt to the situation. And then also know what's a good matchup for you because, um, I mean, this is a little less important because every game, I mean, you shouldn't go into it and be like, oh, I'm going to auto win this game. Look at what list the my opponent has. But um, it's a, it, it can relieve some stress and just know how you're going to play it and just don't overthink it. Um, just go at it like you normally would. Um and then, I mean, at these events, you're typically going to see the top lists that uh, 
you know, have been played in the past. They've been known to work, so they're going to be ran. So I would just get an idea for um, what those top lists are. Try and, uh, I mean, most lists from, excuse me, like LVO, Adepticon, uh, the High Command Tournament, those lists are pretty much, um, they haven't changed yet. And I don't think that they're going to change that much going forward. Not not until at least like mid-summer. I don't think they're going to change that much. Um, so just be aware, because if you're not running the list that's top tier, that's fine. But just know that you're going to see those lists. Um, people are going to run them. Like for me, I'm probably going to run something that I have been very familiar with, um, which is Veers Boba. That's I'm probably just going to run that on Sunday just because I haven't had that much time to practice with Krennic and Death Troopers and all that new stuff. So I'm probably just going to stick with the same old, just get the first one out of the way and hopefully try and win it. But after that, I might have some more fun. But... Uh, yeah, expect the top lists uh, to be played at these events. Uh, and then the final thing, these are local tournaments still. So, um, and not even not even just at local tournaments, but at bigger tournaments as well. Expect some jank. Expect to see some crazy lists. Um, just try and think about what that list is trying to do because most of the uh, quote-unquote jank lists are trying to pull some trick that you haven't seen before. So if you can try and figure out, you know, what they're trying to actually do with that list before you get blown away by it or whatever, that'll that'll give you uh, an advantage in the game. Because most jank lists, they're not, they're like what they call like tier C or something, where like A beats B, but then C beats A or something like, I don't know. I don't know the exact um, thing on it, but basically a jank list is trying to beat, you know, the trooper spam, which is tier A right now. So tier C would probably be like the triple flamer ATRT or something like that vehicle heavy that might throw people off and that might be considered jank. So just, you know, have a good understanding of what, of what it might do. And, um, yeah, other than that, though, uh, I would just be practicing as much as you can. That's obviously the best thing that you can do. Um, my hair looks like Kramer's right now. Um, and then, you know, if you can also try and study a little bit, I wouldn't even call it studying. Just look at the stats of all the other different units, um, especially um, command cards. Command cards are very important. If you if you can predict what sort of command cards that you might see from, you know, uh, different um, units and things and different scenarios, then you can usually have a good understanding of the flow of the game and what's going to happen. And Speaking of the flow of the game, when you're practicing, try and build like almost like a rhythm to your game. Like, okay, round one, you might always play maximum firepower, but you might not always. But it's always like, it's kind of like your standard play. But if you run into scenarios where it makes sense not to, then you still have the option not to. But kind of have like a flow of the game. Okay, turn one, I'm just going to be double moving, getting in position, things like that. So just kind of, you know, have that flow ready to go. Um, that'll help making decisions um, in the game where you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do here. Where if, if you've already thought about this sort of scenario, you already kind of know what you'll do, that'll make the decision making process easier if you're already semi prepared for it so anyways that's all i really have tip wise for uh the rally point qualifiers um i know that the format of these is usually three to four rounds because there's like 
anywhere between 16 and 32 players. So you're typically going to do three or four rounds for a top player. Um, some events might have to do strength of schedule, which kind of sucks because there's only one invite given out. But, uh, I mean, that's just limited to time and stuff. These are just one-day events, so you can't expect much more. Um, I know that the, the Legion Discord is putting together a... Um, like a website that can kind of standardize, you know, the the format of the tournaments that should be ran and maybe suggestions on things like how much terrain you should have and how to do the rounds and things like that. So that's really cool. Um, I got to see like a preview basically of the website, which is really awesome. Um, and I think they're almost finished with it. They just have to do a couple things. They're going to have like a map on there to show where rally points will be so you can just kind of like visualize it on like a Google Maps thing or something to that effect. So yeah, that'll be really cool. So look out for that. And uh, other than that, then I think I'm done. So hopefully you learn some tips or strategies, you know, moving forward for your RPQs. So good luck, everybody. Hope you do well, and most importantly, have fun. See you guys.